You know, we on the back streets with your girl, Cole. We got my homie for the third, fourth, fifth time around. Third time. I can't third keep up. Is it the third time? Third time. Man, the third time. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all already know y'all family, man. Day one shit oh, been rocking. Been rocking with me, man. We gonna blow sooner or later, man. But my homie, Kurt Corona, okay. we been staying safe through the Corona. Yeah. Man, but shit, let everybody know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming if you don't mind. Kurt Corona. It's all the same as our usage, so shit. Uh, I came, we just dropped coronavirus on SoundCloud, go get that. Couldn't put that on Apple Music because the song, I mean, the, what's that shit? The copyright yeah, right, yes, Because we bought a beat and mm -hmm. the beat didn't clear. Oh, no. And so, when, well, when I bought it, and mm -hmm. then when I tried to go to the, to upload it, it didn't clear. So, okay. I, I just couldn't take that song off the tape because okay. I felt like it was going to change it too. So with SoundCloud, you pretty much can keep beats, it don't matter what's what? Yeah, it's yeah. basically like oh, that. Okay. Like, Do you make bread off SoundCloud? Can you make no, money off of it? I mean, nah, I don't think okay. so. Okay. I think okay. that's just strictly just for the music to be out. Yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it's just pretty much mixtape. Mixed okay, tape. okay. Yeah. But some coronavirus has been crazy. It's been just, there's a lot of bad shit, good shit, just yeah. Crazy shit, crazy time in a crazy world. Why did you decide to name your project that? Uh, well, one of my last name, Corona, so that was easy off the top of being like, shit, I was dropping it in the middle of the pandemic, so I mean, that's what they call it, COVID-19, you know, so coronavirus. How have you been staying sane, like, with the pandemic and shit been going on for the past, I believe, three, four months now? Shit, working on my credit. Okay. Shit. Trying to better everything I'm trying to do. I mean, if this stops you from doing a lot of shit, I mean, I understand you put a lot of people out of work. Right. But, like, we done got some bread out of this. Favorite song off the project? Survival Guild. Okay, why that one? <coughs> for, Excuse me. For one, is the production. Okay. The thought process behind it. The, like, you know, for all the ones that we lost, you know, that's what that song was dedicated to. That's all I'm making most of it. Okay. Any visuals for the project? Are we going to get visuals? Oh, yeah. We're shooting tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, how the time? Uh, J. Tom and Trey Trill. Uh, oh, man. Talk about that one, man. The homie Tom, man. And who else on that? I want to fuck with Trey Trill. Trey Trill, okay. You need to come on Backstreet's for Coast so I can get familiar with who he is, yeah. man. But what made you leak up with them two guys on the uh, track? Well, J. Tom, I seen J. Tom on the phone, but... What was it? That Stack Keys and shit? Mm -hmm. That uh, Stack Keys was doing them shows. Oh, Thursday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one and uh, uh, He had performed, and I was like, he got something. You know, off the rip. Okay. So, like, after he performed and shit, I walked up to him, hey, bro, you know, we link in, you know what I'm saying? So, he gave his number and shit, and shit. I tapped in with him. We got On the overall H Town music scene. I mean, it's, it's diverse. It's diverse as food. I still don't feel like it's a lot of bite on it, but a lot of people don't play it. With I'm everybody sure. that's out, you still feel like it's, we got ways to go? Yeah. Or why you yeah. saying that? I mean, who, when you when you logging on social media and all that, who you, who you see? Megan. Nah, that's because she got shot. I'm talking about Man. Megan. Man. <laughs> that's, that's why she been Kurt, popping, really? Right? Wait I mean, a minute. She been popping up because of her music. Don't get me wrong. Wait she, a she minute. Hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying as far as like our scene, it's not as that's that's our league. that's our Jordan. Travis, but see, I mean, they outsource though. Yeah. They but outsource. what I'm saying is the spotlight is on the city. Y'all don't agree? No, no, no. And I'm gonna tell you why the spotlight is not on the city. <laughs> okay. Check it out. Listen to I'm me. listening. I sit in a whole ass a whole ass networking event with one of the execs from Atlanta, mm -hmm. and she literally said. Everybody from Houston has outsourced. We overlook Houston when it comes to talent. They don't look at us. They don't, because we have nothing to show them. That's what they told, that's what she said. How do, okay. We have Everybody nothing. getting their culture from you. Right, but I'm. blowing up out of here. Did I, they blow up from you? The biggest guys, I, I mean, I named Meg, Trav, Maxo Free. They, they, they had to leave. They left. Maxo, Maxo and them, they got city look. I see what you're saying. Like we got city look. Right. Like, but you see, what I'm saying is Houston not on fire is I'm saying. No, not not we we, we And I'm in the shit. We lit, but I don't think What about TSL? We lit, but we don't got the spotlight. Bro, I y'all gotta go retract. 
Alright, All right. listen to me. So who the so let me let me ask this: What spot? Which talent in Houston that we have? Okay, there is not enough light on the city. Okay, so how do we get the light? Y'all saying ain't no See, light. What the exec said when, when we was at that networking event, she was like, "We need to host things that and invite them out." There's not enough invites to these executive people for them to even want to look at Houston. Like men, wow. men. That's what I'm telling you. Wow. I thought I thought Houston had the light too, but when wow. Mrs. X said this, she was like, "We don't look at Houston. We'll go to LA. We'll go to New York, and, and of course, we're gonna look at Atlanta." So well, they'll skip over us. We skip. need to be. What do? Okay, what's the solution then? We need to appeal to them in order for us to pop. Meaning what? We need business plans, a sound for one, a for real sound. I know we have a sound. Don't okay. get me wrong. Okay. But they want to hear. So they feel like our sound is not. The sound. We them. are the sound of hip hop. That's what I'm saying, though. But you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? We are the culture. So how y'all say it? How is Houston the culture, but we that we overlook? All right, look. That don't make sense to me. All right. Sorry, say, guys. Say, say we in the classroom, right? And I crack a joke. Houston, I crack a joke. Don't nobody hear me say this shit though. This nigga cracked the exact same joke. Everybody heard that shit. The whole class bust out like. That's I'm the right. culture, but that's who they see. Since I said it, like, that's you know, crazy. I get the love. Do y'all think, I'm going to just play devil's advocate, do y'all think Houston, you guys are probably too prideful and on y'all independent horse? I mean, I mean, I just feel like independent is the way to go. Especially okay. if you want to put out your music the way you want to kind of okay. it. Also, Sex. another thing when Sex. it comes to these execs and everything is that we don't want to be played into their web of how they run things because they just trying to, you know, they like they know this the way that they like they know right. but we want the profits and, you know, we want to own the catalogs and everything, you know what I'm saying? That's how you put it. So, yeah, that is, yeah. So, do you feel that you might have to leave the city to, I guess, branch off or really make I mean, it to that next level? I feel like you can always get out of your city. You but y'all in your I, city, but but it's not. It's gonna keep you in your city. Hot in our city, but like House said, they ain't looking at us. So what does it really matter if I'm the man in Houston? If Backstreet's the to, shit in Houston, there ain't nobody looking at us. You, you gonna have to outsource. So is that something you gonna have to? I mean, eventually we just gonna have to reach out. We gonna have to reach out to somebody. You like, learn something new every goddamn day. I tell you, I tell you that. Like coronavirus, man. What was your whole thoughts when it just really first hit? The whole COVID, did you think it was a joke? It's crazy. Okay. We ain't never seen nothing like this. The whole city is like, I mean, everything Sex. is gone. Like, they Sex. shut us the day. Like, so for that to be, that's a big thing. Like, what, how many people are unemployment right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like, that should be Over 12 million? What? Like, so, that's crazy. Of course, crazy. I was like everybody else. Like, what the fuck can happen? I feel it. How does this mixtape differ from the last week, the last project you put out? Uh, I think I attacked a different, I tried a different beat selection. You know, mm. I took people to heathen what other people were telling me. You know, so I feel that. So, yeah. Man, as I always, drop some advice to the artist that's watching. <clears throat> Keep grinding, stay in your lane, do your shit, fuck what everybody else saying. Mm. Keep fucking going. Mm. So, the whole George Floyd situation. Uh, that shit is. Just like the rest of it's fucked up. Like, I feel like should no arrest end in murder. Like that don't even make sense. Mm. Like y'all go to training for what? Ain't you supposed to learn how to apprehend somebody without killing them? But I guess they didn't feel for their life too. I mean, no such thing, bro. You took on a, a job that you knew what the, the person True. was. So like, how True. you gonna say that you scared if you knew what you was walking into? True. Ain't no fireman saying, oh, I was scared, so I didn't just walk Go in the building. Like, that's yeah. not how that works. Like, so once you knew it was a dangerous job, you can't fear for your life. I feel like why do you think it was so much outrage behind him being I mean, that it's, like you said it always happened? That's the one that broke the bank, bro. Like You don't think people was bored? I don't think they was bored. Okay. Like, I think like in If COVID wasn't going on, time. you think the outrage would have been as big? I think so. Okay. That man cried out for his mama, man. Yeah. Like That shit crazy. Real life cried for his mama, bro. That shit crazy. Like, it, it was time for something to happen. Like, it, it, like you just said, it, it keep happening. It, something got to change, bro. 
Does it change? Does what you think, House? Does the killing stop with the police and all that? I mean, it's never gonna stop. I mean, could we have a as, major changes have need to be made? But as us, could we as the, I guess the citizens, could we have a better relationship with the police? Are we always the ones I mean, on defense mode, like F twelve and shit like that? I mean, a lot of people is, but you already know how niggas get as soon as the laws pull up. Everybody can get right, so you can talk that fuck to us shit, but you gonna get right when that long ass start talking. Hey man, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The institutionalized. You used to it. You like, oh, that go the laws. Hello, sir. You know what I'm saying? So, like, hey, relationship gotta, sure. gotta be mended, but at the same time, like they gotta, they gotta be more trained. A high nigga got a high nigga go to school longer to cut hair than to be a, to be a cop. <coughs> Wait a minute, how long they go to school? What two, three years? What? So yeah, uh, if you gonna do barber college, maybe like a year or so. And like a cop? Six months. For to be a cop. To be a cop, six months. Mm. I feel like all cops honestly need a quarterly psyche valve. Okay. I mean, that's that's what I'm are they all bad? No, no, they not all bad. Okay. Like cops are not all bad. But if you put somebody, okay. I ain't gonna say the company name, but I worked for a company one time. And when I told him I was gonna make it home, he was like instantly like, oh, like, is it is it bad? Like, it's all it's so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So if you taking these kids who grew up in Cyprus who ain't never seen nothing like this, and you sticking him in the hood where mm -hmm. everything he's seen on a movie is happening in front of him. You know mm. what I'm saying? His 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 the way he handling this shit gonna be different. So of course, of course, if you look like you being aggressive or you move too fast, they already on your neck. They already in the car, three, four SWAT cars already. I feel it. Like, so I'm not saying all cops are bad, they not. But like, if this dude got incident reports, like y'all should really check that mm -hmm. out. Should, he, nobody should be still on the on beat with 13 citations on against him or something like that. You know what I'm so, Big facts. It's a lot of changes that need to be made. Like, Big facts change, I guess they said, start with us, but shit, they gonna have to make they change too. It take both. It take two people. Yeah. That's just so, my that's just my take on it. One, in their eyes, they I think they like they had just passed the law over there about the what is that the the search warrant thing? Mm -hmm. No, not no, not, no, not warrant. warrant. Yeah. yeah. Well, they they had that hoe. So in their eyes. They're free to go. Yep. I, but I'm just saying, if we go talk legally, they feel like that they they don't have to. We don't have to talk to y'all. They should. They're supposed to. Once they was wrong, like you should. That that needs to no, change. No, they, 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 they need to be apprehended. Yeah, like once things. they once you once it went on record that okay, these is not the people that mm -hmm. were supposed to be apprehended. Okay, all them niggas need to be investigated yeah. right now. Big fat shit, and it was crazy that y'all seen all the celebrity that was going to jail, jail and catching felonies for something. So, yeah. as a peaceful yeah. approach, it's crazy, yeah. man. It's crazy out here, Kurt Corona on the back streets, man. What's coming next, man? Twenty twenty one is right around the corner. What do you see the career going into the next year? Uh, we're gonna put out a lot of visuals. Uh, we got, of course, we got music on the way. That's what we doing. That's, That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, the visuals, all that. You know. That could put them in perspective to who he is and they can draw more attention, you know. That's all we're trying to do. I feel that man talk about stimulus this chick. Inspiration behind it. <clears throat> man, shit. Really that whole started off as just some, I was playing with it and then like I was like thinking like a lot of niggas got their stimulus check and they talked through with it. <laughs> so, like, I just hang that off today. Oh my god. Get money, nigga. Why would I lie? You know, <laughs> They got they stimulus check, you yeah. say they turned up with it. Yeah. You know, niggas will stand in front of the camera with their little stimulus check. Man, like, rapping. Like they cash money. Yeah. Man, <laughs> rapping and capping, man. So that's what you was like making light of that type of situation? Yeah. I mean, okay. The type is just to lighten the mood, you know what I'm saying? Put in, and I was perfecting my craft on it. You know, I feel like I actually worked hard on this project. So. Yeah. Plug the IG, the YouTube, you know, all the good shit. Let them know where they can follow you. Everything. Kurt Brown. That's it, you know, it ain't even nothing to order about it. Watergate tape still out huh? Yeah, they still out. Okay, man, y'all go check that one out, man. What's the, what's, the, what's the project, man? Plug that, man. Yeah. Let them know where they go get it at SoundCloud. You can go get uh, Gangland on all streaming platforms, shit. 30 hours on SoundCloud. Oh, yeah, that's some shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that 30 hours are classic. I appreciate that. And then, uh, all the rest we of didn't get a visual for that. Yeah, that's what's coming. What? I saw, we showed it when I think of it.